And I think this, everything seems to be going digital nowadays and like that. Yes. Can, can be going. So what would be your tips to uh, students, the business students, for example, that what, what should they study, what should they be interested in at this point of time to be future-proof? Yes. In, in yes, the most important thing that is that skills become more important than, than the degrees, which is kind of hard for us in our educational system because we believe in, in, in studying and degrees, but skills can be very important. And I think if, if anyone even in their teens or early adult, uh, adult age find a skill they're interested in, it can be analytics or video making or social media, I think they should push their uh, efforts on that and try to make profession out of it. Because what I've done within, within five, four years, it has really changed the whole my business life. And the, the idea, or after, of course, wisdom is always better afterwards, but what I see is I turn from pushing for creating the demand. So instead of trying to sell my ideas, I let the world decide who wants it. And it's easier for everyone. So, so it's really figure, trying to figure out what I'm good at, and pushing on that and believing in yourself. Because the future is also this, this there will be these micro professions. You can be very good on doing PowerPoint presentations. Yeah. That can be a profession. Or analytics or visualizing or something like that. Yeah. Right. So there's new professions yeah. that are based, based, on, based on skills and not degrees. Yeah. Right. Okay. Thank you very much. and. It's been a pleasure talking with you and hope to see you soon again. Thank you. See you online. See you.